We welcome you to Meaningful Meditation for this first week of spring, and we are obviously outside. There's even some uh, bushes budding behind me, so we're excited for these hopeful signs of warmer days to come here in Michigan. We are continuing our path through the season of Lent. This is the fourth Sunday that we are planning for, uh, coming up on March the 27th, if you can believe it, heading towards the end of the month. And this Sunday, we will be looking at the parable of the prodigal son, one uh, that even people who maybe don't study the Bible are familiar with. It's one of the more popular stories of the son who wants his inheritance and he's going to go spend it uh, now. And so he demands it. His dad gives it to him goes out and wastes it and then comes back um, seeking to have a reconciliation with his father. His father is delighted that he has come back. Uh, big brother, not so delighted. And therein is the, the issue, the tension within this family that the older brother has tried to be the responsible one doesn't like the fact that the young one has come back and been greeted and loved um, by dad. And I think wherever you put yourself in this story, the bottom line is about grace and how hard it is for us to extend that grace to other people. So in this little time that we have together, what I want us to think about is how important it is to, to put your heart uh, in a place that it's going to be willing to give yourself grace and more importantly, um, give those people around you grace when they upset you or hurt you or disappoint you, how hard it is to extend that. Um, I don't know how you feel when you walk into a bakery, but that's always a great feeling for me. The smell, um, that sense that you're gonna take a bite out of fresh bread or a fresh donut, something that just kind of makes you feel um, better inside. And there's a great expression that says, um, start each day with fresh grace. And I think that's a, a wonderful tool for us to look at our lives by that um, mantra each day, you know, fresh bread, fresh grace, that if we could put our hearts into a place that's willing to extend grace, like the father does to this uh, wayward son who comes back, just what a better world this would be. And it has to start with ourselves to have more grace. You know, the people that we love the most, sometimes it's hard to extend that to them, as well as uh, to the person who cuts you off driving or the clerk at the grocery store, whoever may kind of strike you the wrong way um, or more deeply people who really hurt us. And it's a process to be able to come to that place of forgiveness and grace. So lots to think about. We hope you'll come join us this Sunday as we explore this some more on the fourth Sunday of Lent. Um, after the service, we will have a Super Sunday with an opportunity to learn about the transportation system um, in Rochester or more, I guess that we would say the lack of, uh, thinking about how public transportation is not available. So we wanna do what we can to advocate for that. Uh, and then later in the day at 5.30, we have a special service with a uh, gospel theme with great music and a meditation. So we hope you'll come and join us at 5.30 in the evening and we have a meal to follow. Uh, so lots to going on and hope you'll join us. So have a wonderful uh, time and joy for your journey as you think about this amazing gift of grace.